And welcome back to News 11 at 7. Our ice storm team coverage continues right now with my co-anchor Andy Banker. He is live in Maryland Heights with the latest on road conditions. He is near 270. Andy. Hey, Melanie, not just the road conditions, but we have seen varying conditions across the spectrum in St. Louis County all day long. On the roads, mostly just wet, not frozen. We've seen very little, if any, ice out there, but on the cars and parking lots, we've seen ice by the shovels full, and we have seen conditions change very quickly. Cars that were ice free when people showed up to work were ice coated when they came out for lunch. Windshield tarps, cardboard, de-icer, all working great. There are parking lots full of upright wipers to keep them from freezing to the glass. On the road, St. Louis County trucks have 3,200 lane miles to keep clear and 125 vehicles to do it, from neighborhood streets to thoroughfares like Dorset and Rivas Barracks. Everything's been salted at least once in the county and remains mostly wet. Still, even the grass is slick. Kids playing football on this snow day, people bringing in the groceries can attest to that. Traffic's been amazingly light, which has helped salt trucks, but it may also speed up the freezing process a bit as the temperature drops. A woman who drove to Maryland Heights from Belleville for work saw it firsthand. Happened yeah, that happened at work. Um, I'm concerned that it's going to be slippery because I keep looking at my uh, weather reports and it's like, you know, it's going to be freezing ice again later on. So I'm concerned that that's going to be a battle. So I brought an overnight bag just in case. Three degrees could mean the difference between chaos and just wet pavement. We anticipate the, the, the freezing mark to be hit later tonight again. So if you're seeing moisture, you've got to expect that it's going to turn into ice eventually. So we're monitoring it very closely, all parts of the county, and we'll, we'll salt as necessary. You just uh, stay ahead of it, you know, get the salt down. That way it doesn't, doesn't ice up on us. Uh, it doesn't really seem like the storm is doing what, uh, what was expected for it. But At least not yet. Yeah. Um, try and keep it from freezing as best we can. Yeah, and the best news of all, the rain and precipitation really stopped more than three hours ago now, at least in this part of St. Louis County. But still, you hear that trepidation from the guys who work the roads, from the St. Louis County Transportation Department and the private snowplow contractor there. They're not declaring victory just yet. Three degrees from chaos, you heard uh, the, the, the man from the County Transportation Department say. And that's really where they stand right now. They're not going home and they're ready to uh, throw out more salt if the need arises. So that's where we stand here. Where do we stand elsewhere? Let's check in again with News 11 meteorologist Chris Higgins in the Storm Runner. Chris, where are you now? Andy, heading back towards the home station on Interstate 44, making my way up. Where are we, through Pacific right now, John? Yeah. We're heading up through Pacific right now on our way back in towards you. And the good news is, despite the fact that roads here 